activated? I don't know. They're not like tongs. The tongs, you know you've activated them. <laughs> I don't know. Well, hello fellow adventurers. We are <laughs> on a different sort of adventure it's today. It's definitely an adventure. Definitely. <laughs> um, we've just dropped our truck off at uh, shop B and K truck accessories. Uh, they have really good prices on what we need done. Yeah, yeah, and we're doing something exciting. It is really exciting news coming up. We yeah. are quitting RVing. That's right. We're quitting RVing in our kind of trailer. Yes. <laughs> 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 More to that to follow in future videos, and uh, I'm sure you could tell we maybe we look a little bit rough, especially me. Uh, I know <laughs> that. Are you talking about? Maybe one of my previous bosses would have said, "Ship me, ship me. You need to get down to the exchange and get a haircut because you're unsat." <laughs> we are also in our lesser-known vehicle. This is actually, yeah, uh, our lesser-known vehicle, but one that I love very much. Yeah, she's been in storage for some time. Yeah. <laughs> um, the battery was dead. This has been a real adventure so far because the, the battery was dead. And I kind of borrowed <laughs> one of the RV batteries <laughs> <laughs> so that we could use this car. But we are going to start off our day by getting a really good breakfast because, you know, we, we have some coffee that's just... It's, it's getting us by, but we're going to start off by having a really good breakfast at Cracker Barrel! Yay! Cracker Barrel! And then we're going to continue on our adventure. But I will say this, fellow adventurers, <laughs> when I woke up this morning and realized the sheer enormity of what we have planned for today, I said to myself, <laughs> the me who planned this travel day on Monday is not the same me who is going to travel those miles on Friday. <laughs> That's right. We do not have the same energy at all. So I definitely need something in my belly to get me going this morning because it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. We're not, we're not going to be where we're currently at in about... 12 hours. 12 hours or so. In 12 hours, we hope to be tucked into a nice, uh, like, you know, ready to ready to go to bed boondocking miles away. And that is not where we've started today. <laughs> no. And then There's the day to do in between. <laughs> after, so what will be Saturday for us is uh, going to be another long day. Um, this is Friday, but... It's it's been a week of long days though yeah it's it's definitely been a week of long days i think we need a vacation after all of this but more on that later more on that later yeah stay tuned uh we'll share some tips about how to get the best deal on any kind of upgrades i think when to do the upgrade yourself when not to do them and why you should or should not do them yourself because uh, those are all important things and we'll talk about that more in the later on this video which will be in just a few moments for you guys but it'll probably be <laughs> five or six hours for us stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned i am currently taking out the decked toolbox from the back so halfway done with the uninstall of the decked and it starts pouring rain that's how it goes So we get to the Cracker Barrel and they ask us, are we traveling today? How do you answer that? So I'm just curious like what other RVers who full time think. Like, I travel every day. <laughs> I mean, what, what do you say to that? I'm like, well, um, not traveling at the moment, but we will be later today. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm just curious, like leave in the comments, like what do you say when somebody asks you a question like that? Are you traveling today? Like every day I'm traveling. <laughs> is uh, Amy vandalizing our RV or is she removing stuff? I don't know, that's a big knife you got there. <laughs> Stay out of my way. <laughs> oh my gracious. Hashtag RV life. It has been a very long and tiring day and it's not over yet. We, st <laughs> we still have 123 miles to go, about two hours, and it has just started raining. Slash sleeting. Yeah. Yeah. The trailer's going really well though. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like it's super light. Uh, almost like it's super light. What? Go figure. Um, so we started off this morning with a very long list of things to do. Um, get the hitch installed in the truck. Done. Check. Um, finish unpacking, or er, sorry, finish packing and packing out the RV. Check. Done. Uh, finish uninstalling like the mods and stuff. Should I not say that? Finish uninstalling the mods that we're not um, including with the trade-in. What else? Oh, propane tanks. The upgraded propane tanks got delivered today. We're upgrading. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this because we have 20, two 20 pounds, and the new RV comes with two 30 pounds, but has room for two 40 pounds. So we are doubling our size of propane capacity, which I'm pretty stoked about because not only that, but the larger propane tanks don't have as big of an issue with freezing up. And we want to do more boondocking. So we're really excited about that because we have had cold enough temperatures to cause our propane tanks to freeze up. So the propane tanks got delivered today and we were able to take them into town. And get them built. Yay! Plus we found a really great price. It was only $2.99 a gallon which is probably about 50 cents cheaper than most most all over town. So we were super excited about that, especially since this is the most propane we've ever purchased at one time for the RV. Hashtag RV life. All right, so we got the um, propane tanks delivered and filled. We um, got as much of the financial portion of the purchase taken care of today as we could. Including last minute bank transfers. That oh my gracious. So guys, um, if you're planning to buy, and I guess we should know this by now, but it's long enough in between <laughs> when we make large purchases like this that we forget. But if you're planning to buy and you wanna put anything down that's above and beyond just the required deposit and the trade-in, it has to be uh, certified payment. Certified payment method. So check. Right. So check. No. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you have in your bank account. Does not matter. They want it to be certified, which is a problem for us because we're not in the location where our bank is uh, available, readily available. We it's have probably a problem for a lot of uh, full-time RVers. Just because your well, bank's probably where your home state is. Well, it depends though. We use a credit union. If you use like one of the larger banks maybe maybe you have maybe you don't have that problem let us know in the comments have you run into this problem um but for us 
we have a credit union and it's in a different state and so we have we can use um, if you didn't know this you can a lot of credit unions can use sister like affiliates uh, credit unions however where we happen to be staying the closest one was an hour drive each way and that doesn't really fit into our travel plans today for last minute uh, last minute panic attack of getting the certified payment I'm thankful it all worked out but lesson from us if you're going to buy <laughs> keep that in mind because they told oh that was the other option they gave us they gave us cash or um, a cashier's check were the only two options they wanted to give us I mean come on guys who carries around cash in large sums like it, no no no, that's just that's just not safe. You are Cuban, maybe? <laughs> no, he probably has a man for that. <laughs> he, has, he has a man that carries around his wallet. Probably. I mean, I'm just saying. In a wheelbarrow, probably. <laughs> it's probably something more secure than a wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so yeah. Um, so anyway, we got all that done and then we made sure we hashtag fill her up and hashtag let her rip before we headed out because we're boondocking tonight we're picking up the new rig tomorrow some of the other things like the hitch i was talking about earlier some of the tips you want to keep in mind when you go to put a hitch in like this is to call around call a lot of places i spent the better part of a day calling people but that saved us so much money. So much money. So much money. And, I mean, tell them. I mean, we started, I started looking into getting this hitch installed when we were back in Myrtle Beach. And Myrtle Beach wanted, I think it was $2,500. It was the cheapest quote I got. I called three different people. Three different places. One wouldn't even do it for like three months. And I'm like, obviously that's not going to work. Another guy wanted, I think, three thousand, three to four thousand. Another guy wanted twenty-five, and then the dealer that we're buying the RV from quoted us five thousand to put the hitch in. Oh my gosh! And he he recommended we didn't go to him. And I'm yeah. like, No, thank you, sir. We don't want to go. To <laughs> I mean, at least he was honest, and we appreciate that. Um, but because of your endeavors and research, we were able to find a place that could do it locally. And it cost us eight hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah, the, and they got us in, sit and got it done all in one day. They were fantastic. BK Truck and Accessories here in uh, Christiansburg. Virginia. Christiansburg, Virginia. They are pretty. They are really awesome. I mean, they are definitely under a thousand for a hitch and a seven-way plug in the bed is amazing. what I was talking about before, some of the things that I was saying before is like, if you want to do things like this yourself, I looked into what was required to do it yourself, and ultimately, all you really need is a whole saw and a torque wrench, and you could have done it yourself, but there's just so much risk involved in that. Would cutting very, a hole into your truck bed. Yeah, cutting a hole into your truck bed. Not just that, but insurance-wise, like if the yeah. insurance company, you had an accident, and they came back and said that the hitch was the problem. You, and, you, you just, just extra insurance. You want to know that yeah. you, you know that it's been done by a professional, and you can say, "Hey, it's been done by a professional." Exactly. So, uh, yeah. So a lot of big changes, as Mike alluded to. Not only uh, are we going from a, a tow behind, so a travel trailer, bumper pull, any other names you can think of for it. Travel trailer. Some people call it a camper, um, to a fifth wheel. And it is a fifth wheel with a gooseneck. You're going to have to tell me again. What, um, what's the... So we decided it was originally it was a fifth wheel with a pin box. And we asked them to change it over to the Gen Y gooseneck because we wanted to not have a 600 pound hitch in the back of the truck. After yeah. clearing out the deck system with all the tools in the back, I didn't really want to go and throw another 600 pounds of gigantic slide.
wider hitch in the back of the truck. Yeah. And because we have a short bed, we have to, you have to have a slider hitch, and one of the automatic ones would have been another eight hundred dollars plus install, or is it six to eight hundred dollars, depending on which one you get. We didn't want that. We didn't want all of our bed taken up. We wanted to have some of the bed space left over for carrying things like the generator and stuff. And so we got a gooseneck installed and we're gonna have them install the gooseneck hitch on the front of the RV. Yep, so that's a big change for us. We also then had to come up with a different solution for our electric bikes because we are not leaving those behind. We really enjoy them. Um, so we had to find a, a solution for that. So if you're interested and you have, um, if you have electric electric bikes or you're interested in electric bikes, uh, stay tuned. We will we'll show you either in this video or we'll show you maybe in another video um, what our, what solution we came up with for that. That's really I think RV life in a nutshell is learning to adjust and adapt to whatever life throws at you <laughs> because it happens and then you just adjust like one day you're sitting there you're like after, after having been to three or four different RV shows and looking at multiple different fifth wheels that just weren't quite right they just fell flat yeah, yeah. and then on top of it, like, would you would you spend that amount of money for essentially the same floor the plan? Same floor plan. That was what he kept coming back to. The same same interior, basically, same floor plan. Not a lot of changes. And we are what we had was paid for. So why would we spend the extra money? And that's what we kept coming back to. But we kept looking and just not finding anything that really. One particular RV, which is extremely difficult to find and we're not going to give it away right now. <laughs> we're not going to give it away yet, but it is extremely, extremely limited and in high demand. This is the first year, so that's both exciting and scary. It is, both yeah. exciting and scary. First model year, the first year for this model. First year for this model and it's in super high demand. So we will plan to have some videos as well about um, just showing you like a tour of the RV, hopefully before we even really get settled in. And then once we get settled in, we'll do like, I think a follow up, maybe a month later. So yeah. you can see uh, any of the upgrades we've made it, Ma made it? <laughs> any of the upgrades we've made along the way. This is a big step for us. So we're really excited. It is, and not many of, not uh, often do these types of adventures come along for full time RV years. So stay tuned. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive.